<laughs> Hi, welcome to the show. What the hell is this? Oh, the new iPhones are here. Hi, again, welcome to Three Minute John. And now the news. Elon Musk, the junkie. Oh, how I missed talking about Elon. He was a regular on our show if you check previous episodes, but it's been a while since we talked about our inventor, our Columbus of Mars, our Lord and Savior. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, was live on a Joe Rogan podcast when he smoked something, something, um, something that Snoop likes very much. And immediately after, the stockholders panicked. And the Tesla shares dropped. Drop it like it's hot. But now they're okay. And it was such a big news that it was all over the tech news feed. And if you think that this is not tech related, shame on you. Everything our Lord Elon Musk does is tech related. In fact, I'm gonna change the O in my logo with Elon's face. And ignore the fact that the O was an S. Because that's not the point. It, it's, it's, the O is now is not, no, f fuck off. Now kids, what Elon did was very wrong. Very, very, very wrong. You should never do that on a live video. Now, I don't understand why stockholders panicked in the first place because this is a guy that wants to get to Mars. And Mars is way up high. He was just trying to get a head start. Some new rumors about the Galaxy S10. I know, it's a sacrilege to talk about the S10 when everybody's talking about the holy apple, but leaks and rumors are the food that feeds tech YouTubers like me. And I eat a lot. If you watched my stories on Instagram, you would understand. Oh, that sound. Anywho, the Samsung Galaxy S10, which will be released next year, will be special because it will mark 10 years since Samsung started making smartphones. One year after Apple. Just saying. It will have a third generation ultrasonic fingerprint reader. Wow! Meaning it will even scan your sweat pores so that your pores and only your pores can unlock the phone. Of pores. It might have 5G tech, which means it will cost more to make it, and that means it might be the most expensive phone Samsung has ever made. That's if they don't release the foldable phone first. The screen to body ratio will be improved by trimming the bezels, and as I said before, they might make three models. Maybe. Although Samsung has enough models to please every wallet, so they don't really need a third S10 budget model. Poor people have pores too. Well, the 2018 iPhones are here. The Apple keynote was another great brag event. Hey, look at my watch, look at my iPhone, these are nice. But seriously, they look quite promising. The new Apple Watch Series 4 has a 30% larger display, a better sound, the dial has haptic feedback, it knows when you fall and gives an SOS message to your emergency contacts if you don't move for one minute. <laughs> Who needs that? You thought I was gonna do a bit right now, right? Where I fall and <laughs> forget about it. I ain't. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. They even put an EKG monitor in the watch and had a doctor on stage that basically told people they should get an Apple Watch or risk dying. <sighs> hey doc, I feel so sick. Then you need a new Apple Watch. What? But I don't have an iPhone. I mean... Get the hell out! And the new iPhones that have confusing names. We have the iPhone XS, the iPhone XS Max, and the iPhone XR. What? But as always, I'm gonna call them X. So, the iPhone XS and XS Max. Here, Max. Here, boy. <laughs> have a 5.8 and 6.5 inch OLED displays or Super Retina as Apple calls them. Mm. Stereo sound, the A12 Bionic chip that can do 5 trillion operations per second. Uh, that is many. They will have dual 12 megapixel cameras, smart HDR that promises to take the best photos ever. The batteries are just a wee bit improved. They will have a 512 gigabyte storage option and you can have dual SIMs if your carrier supports eSIM. That is nice. And the XR, or the poor people's phone. 
It has much more color options, an LCD display, which they call super f***ing squat bitch ass. They call liquid retina display. Oh. And a single weird 12 megapixel camera, which they claim is just as good. But if you get the XS, it's better. Because it's more money. The prices start at $1,000 for the XS, $1,100 for the XS Max, and $750 for the XR. That, uh, that's not very cheap. I mean, it's cheap for an iPhone, but it's not cheap for a budget phone. And don't get me started for the 512 gigabyte storage option. Ugh. And they killed the original iPhone X. You can't get it anymore. Oh, and the notch is still there. Just laying around. Not giving the slightest f Now the specs on that A12 Bionic chip look very promising. But I want to know what you think about them. Do you like the new Apple products? Will you get one? Leave a comment and let me know. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. I'm John. Until next week when I'll film this in a new studio. I hope. Keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Should I switch to Apple? That presentation was so promising. Hmm. Nah. Android for life. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow.